Hey everyone, here's a recap of the Midjourney office hours from November 8. The main things on their mind. A small web release, maybe today, going to add a few more features to the website, then a follow-up update is planned. He mentioned a downloader and a selector, I'm not really sure what that means, and then maybe some collection stuff. Then he brought up a potential 5.3 release. There are a couple of things they could fit into it, can't say for sure. David said there's a 90% chance it comes out in the next two weeks. The latest version finished training on Monday, but it might not work. I mean, there's a chance, so we'll have to see. He said it will provide a coherency boost and more accurate prompting, but he is trying not to hype it up too much because there is a chance it does not happen. Version 6.0 is coming. Most of their team is working on it. They have versions which they can test right now, and these test versions are currently rendering text, but that might end up with bad side effects, so there's no guarantee it will be in the final release. He said we might see version 6 by the end of the month. It's possible. I'll say it's like a 40% chance that we do. But I don't actually know anything, so take that for what you will. David said version 6 is a bigger jump than version 4 to version 5, but maybe not as big as version 3 to version 4. He said that everything they have planned might not make it in at the start, and he mentioned that version 7 might get released within a month or two of version 6 with much better data and more features. That's just a general outlook on how things could happen. He said that the Niji team is working on a style tuner and we could see that before version 6 of Niji. They're continuing to have good results on video in 3D but their data set is limited. The problem with Midjourney 3D is if you train it on 3D data, it looks like a game engine and they don't want that. They want it to look as good as 2D Midjourney and he doesn't want to release 3D until that's possible. They also have a better upscaler but they aren't sure what to do with it. It's really slow Low. It takes like two to four minutes. They might call it upscale to max so that people know what they're getting themselves into, but they have a lot they're working on, so they haven't had time to make sure it goes faster. He mentioned having new algorithms for a better explore page on the website. This will bring a much more diverse and interesting set of images, hopefully with ways of filtering it as well, and it will be the start of a lot of explore features. He wants to make that homepage powerful. He mentioned having some cool control net results as far as posing models, but that probably won't come until version 6. And they're moving towards adding creation to the website. He wants it sooner than later. We'll have a version 6 rating party at some point. And on a slightly down note, we might not have bigger batches in version 6 at launch. He is upset. That's what he's always wanted, but they just can't fit it in and they don't want to keep delaying the release. If you like the art in this video, here is the prompt. It's the subject in the style of action-packed cartoons, mecha anime, John Bergerman, poster art, bold and vibrant primary colors, sky blue and gold. I used a specific style code for this. I'll leave the code and the tuning test in the description so you can try it out yourself. If you want a better look at some of my images, you can follow me over on Instagram at Future Tech Pilot. There's your recap of the Mid Journey Office Hours. I hope you're doing well. Take care and I'll see you next time.